Turns out, we can, and it's an 800 million net worth. So how does the world's highest paid actor enjoy his Lux life? There's definitely some supercars in this story. But did you know that Dwayne had no way to live when he first started wrestling? Stick with us till the end to find out all the details. Today, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a multi-millionaire and award-winning actor. And you can bet that they know his name in every corner of this planet. Dwayne never dreamed he'd make it this big. He's come a long way from crashing on some guy's couch. I said, hey, uh, hey thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it, but I I I'm going to have to close this chapter in my life. Dwayne was about 15 years old. His family was broke, and they got booted from their Hawaiian home because they couldn't afford to live there. I had spent a lot of my time growing up in the backseat of a car. The young rock was sent to Nashville, expecting to meet his father. By now, Dwayne's dad was setting up his career as a wrestler, and Dwayne thought he would do the same. I loved wrestling. I love the antics of it. I love the characters of it. But Mr. Rocky Johnson wasn't financially set up to live with his son. So Dwayne moved in with Bruno Lauer, a professional wrestling manager, referee, and a man he had never met before. And then I realized that, oh, well, plans have changed, so I'm not going to be living with my dad. To Dwayne, this was a stranger willing to give him a shot. Bruno let him stay in his tiny motel room until Dwayne found his feet. Bruno even bought him his first car. Years later, when the boy from Hawaii became a megastar, he remembered to show Bruno his appreciation. Dwayne gifted Lauer a super luxe Ford Raptor R. He has the same car, so he and Bruno are twinsies now. The model in question is worth $150,000. A V8 engine powers this beastly 6x6. It releases about 758 horsepower. And did you know that Dwayne's Ford F-150 is unique? It was specially built for him, so few units were made. And while The Rock gifted his dear friend, Bruno, he didn't pay a cent for his own Ford. It was a gift from the Ballers production team. This message is a very special message. I'm sending this one out to my family, or as we say in the islands, uh, my Ohana, and that is the Ford family. Now that's a mega flex. And when it comes to the rest of The Rock's car collection, well, let's just say it's fast and furious. But hold on, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Now buckle up and get ready to ride like The Rock. I got a lot of guns in this. Okay. These kind. <laughs> There's always room for a cheesy joke, I know. You're welcome. Let's talk about the Pagani Huayra he brought to the Ballers premiere. The Huayra features a Mercedes-AMG 6-liter V12 engine. That means it can produce up to 720 horsepower. What a car! We're just wondering how he fit inside. By the way, Dwayne is one of a hundred people to have this beautiful vehicle in their collections. And the price tag? We're looking at over two and a half million dollars. That's not the only collector's item Johnson has enjoyed. He also added a Ferrari LaFerrari to the mix. Only 499 units were ever made. These bad boys give off an impressive 950 ponies. Believe it or not, some LaFerrari models can cost up to four and a half million. Not that Dwayne has to worry about the price. His car was another gift from the Ballers production team. Hands down, without a shadow of a doubt, the best thing about being famous is making people happy. Next up is the McLaren P1. Gosh, can we swap lives with Dwayne for one day? Only 375 P1s exist. These mid-engine, plug-in hybrids are a force to be reckoned with. They can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.8 seconds and puts out a whopping 903 ponies. FYI, that means it's one of the fastest cars in circulation. And that price tag? 1.15 million. Another rare bird in Dwayne's fleet is the 2017 Ford GT. As the ambassador of Ford service, I believe in these vehicles, the people who make them, and the specialists working hard keeping them on the road. No one knows your Ford better than Ford and Ford service. The American Muscle puts out an impressive 674 horsepower. That's courtesy of its 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. The Rock scored his for a bargain price of 450 grand. But today, these models are way more expensive at auctions. But did you know there's a very special reason why The Rock added this Ford to his collection? Wanna know what it is? Stick around till the end and keep your eyes peeled for the big reveal. Let's steer away from collector's items and look at some of the other impressive rides, yeah? 
like Dwayne's McLaren 650S. So how did I get here? By being the hardest worker in the room. His orange speedster can hit 100 kilometers per hour in just three seconds. And it's one of the few supercars he can fit his mountainous physique into. The market price now sits over 150,000. Another fast car in his collection is the Lamborghini Huracan. Dwayne has been spotted cruising around in this beauty, but we imagine it's a tight fit for him. And just like its owner, the Huracan has bulging muscles and a booming voice. I its engine gives off 500 horsepower, and it's powered by a V10. What about that price tag? We're looking at a base of nearly 250 grand. Then we have the Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR. You can't just have these tiny sports cars. The SVR has the height and build to accommodate our WWE superstar. Newer models start at just over 117,000. Rumor has it The Rock first drove this car when filming for the Ballers. He ended up liking it so much that he just took it home. Oh, to be Dwayne. I hey. turned out all right. Oh, and how could we forget? There was one more car the Ballers team gifted their megastar, the Rolls-Royce Wraith. The special model packs a 6.5-liter V12 engine, and its acceleration is smooth as butter. We're talking about 624 horsepower. These super exclusive cars cost north of 350 grand. Another Rolls Royce in his fleet is the Cullinan. Ranking above the Ghost model, this luxury SUV was designed for all weather and all terrain. It features a 6.7 liter turbocharged V12 engine and it puts out roughly 563 ponies. Rumor has it the Rocks Cullinan is worth a cool 330,000. While Dwayne Johnson is living the soft life now, he'll never forget those who helped him climb the ladder of success. I have this problem. I do have an issue, right? It's like a little sickness that I have where I really enjoy buying cars and giving cars to the people. His dad put in blood, sweat, and tears to get the Johnson family where they are now. And for that, Dwayne will forever be grateful. That's why he told his dad, pick any car you want on me. Rocky chose the Cadillac Escalade, optimized for luxury driving. This SUV gets its power from a V8 engine and the horsepower, 403. Dwayne put down just over 76 grand for the Caddy. And when it comes to his mom, the rock goes all out too. One day, he gifted his mother a golden ticket because she gets to choose any home she wants, anywhere she wants, Dwayne shared. How sweet is that? Now, we know what you're here for. Why did Johnson buy that Ford GT? By now, it's clear the former wrestler is a very caring and sentimental person. After he joined the Fast and Furious set, Johnson became tight with Vin Diesel. Vin talked Dwayne through his cars, and in no time, The Rock had some American muscle of his own. Wait, so Hobbs and Dom are family? Drop a comment and let us know when you become a Dwayne Johnson fan. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See ya.